anyway, they, we're going to have problems with the Aurora eventually, basically. Our thin coronal, we got CME directly hitting Earth again. So here's some data that even our uh, astronauts sent down to us, so check this out. We've known about this, but check out the... We're barely missing the thin area, getting hit by some big CME action. Like I say again in here, 2016 you'll see the graph that basically that's when we they're starting to even agree with what I kind of seen and other people have seen on the graphs. Now see how it's barely missing our thin area? Let me pull that back again. It's important to keep in mind how it's barely hitting the thin area. Barely not going through. We're getting lucky so far. And that's why also that when you go to uh, the artists, okay, or Basically, it, they can't get it because the government doesn't have the statistical rural up right now, okay? Because it's probably way off, way worse than what we've seen. And don't let the quiet fool you. We've had M class and we have it coming, okay? The sun has just calmed down of late, okay? But we got CMEs coming in. As you see, this isn't reporting because it's not even up, okay? Coincidence, whatever. Let's look at this big CME action. As you can see, it's Earth that's getting pumped. It's going to get. We're going to get some action. Watch. Whammo. Okay. Yep, we're going to get some. And this big green band too. Everything that you see that's not blue is not good. If it's not blue, it's not good. And that's Earth, a yellow spot. So just be aware. Power outages. It's a good idea to have everything in your house grounded off too. CMEs are coming. And I'll take you to look at some, okay? We'll see it from the International Space Station. And you'll see that graph again where it's just barely not getting through our thin area. You're also going to see another sun in this sh video, and basically, or planet, or the moon, hella glowing from the supergiant's glare, and I don't really think it's the moon. I think it's the same thing that the Chinese, when you see it separately, it pretty much looks like probably what the Chinese uh, had their cameras on their uh, mission that went up to Mars, their lab that's going to Mars. They've got a lab like ISS has up by Mars, or going there anyway. We got curiosity going up there. That's lightning on the ground there on the blow. And then the, the brightness is our lights, street lights at night all over the world. The green is the aurora. And if you watch, you will see meteorites going. That's supergiants there. That's the sun and the supergiants, and then they will cut away. And that's also the aurora, which is CME action. It hits our atmosphere. Now here's some uh, meteorites or satellites that go by. It's hard to tell. Let me go back to that. You gotta zoom in and freeze these to see if these are satellites or if they're. Uh, and I think that they've edited some of the action out of here too. 
they made that one sun spot real short. We'll get to that in a minute. And they also shortened up this either satellites right here. You see them going through the air? Two or three of them. And like I say, triangulation on like comets, comet love joint and so forth. We know it was a triangulation because the Australian original pictures of it. And then what everything that went around the sun. Here's bam, bam. So they kind of cut that sh sh footage short a little bit here. And keep on trying to bring it back to where the uh, comet satellites are or whatever is going by, asteroids or something. You see that stuff? Bam, bam, bam. So there's Aurora. Electrical energy hitting our atmosphere from the CMEs from the sun. There's that separate sun. That's not the sun, okay? And then they got a still photograph of a comet or something going by. That's not the sun there, though, okay? That ain't, it's not the sun, okay? And they got a picture of a comet, asteroid or whatever that went by, or a satellite that's falling out of orbit. So, and here's their graph that they even put up in their video that kind of pretty much agrees with what I'm talking about. 2016 will come out of the high point projected high point but nothing's an exact okay right there they're not lying to you they put this in their video as you can see we'll come off of a high point start coming back to somewhat of a norm 2016 okay and as you see the wild spike that we already have 2012 ain't over yet okay and they figure it's going to drop a little bit well, this is a projection okay a long time till she's gonna cool off. So sooner or later, or maybe never. That's what I hope. Never. But something's gonna go to ground sooner or later, and we've already have had some power outages before. Anything that had a weak ground got it within the last year. If you've had a power outage, so. That's Earth. And that CME is coming off of the sun. And the supergiants. And anything that's not blue is not good. So it's not just that direct hit that we're going to get from that CME blast. It's all this other static aurora we're going to get. And let's watch the dates and time here, up here in the corner. Dates and time is right there, left. Ninth, tenth. So, get ready for some high winds no matter what. So no matter what, you can see the south pole down here to the right. It's going to be whipping around like crazy. So, very interesting. Once again, the stars in triangulation, and we are actually getting live feed again right now from the volcano in Japan. And you can see everything is rotating stars and light down there on that volcano, even though it's cloudy. As you can see, everything that's in motion is late star action from space above the volcano and radiation, radii, radii from Fukufajup. And those are stars rotating in space. And stars and planets and constellations down onto the volcano in Japan. 
And there may have been a pretty good eruption today, or it's just smoldering, trying to cool Earth's atmosphere, all the volcanoes on Earth. Because of the supergiants. The suns of the supergiants. Four to seventy-eight times the size of the sun. A hundred of them, and the sun is in the supergiants' main sequence. And as you can see, this is all stars. Phasars and quasars and all kinds of names that space enthusiasts, astronomers, astrologers, whatever. Space physicists. I'm not put their lingo, but you can see these stars moving and propagating. And just finish this video out with this because this is fresh footage. And you can see the stars spinning and flopping, and planets or whatever, moons rotating around those stars, or those stars rotating as they are hol hologrammed down onto the volcano in the Earth. And you can even see it up in the sky. See that one there? Check that out. It just did a lot right when I moved the deal there, too. So you can see all these. You can't miss them. It's all the white spots that you see. There's, there's that one up there in the sky that I just pointed to. It'll keep flopping and keep your eye on it. But there's this one here, this one here, this here, and here. And there's way more than one because as you can see when they flop around, you can see them flopping around right there. So we'll just finish this video out with this footage. So, watch your weather. It's going to be high winds because of the CMEs out in space. And you can see right there in the pretty much the mouth of the smoke of the crater that uh, there will probably be a pretty good something in the next 24 hours there or something because it sure seems to be propagating on that volcano again there. A big flopper right in the middle. You can't miss it. Right there. Pretty wild star action. And did you see the one up in the sky too? They're all in the sky basically, but I mean the one that's up above the ash. There's another one that showed up now just above the peak. Keep an eye here. There'll be more videos soon. Later in a week, probably. Wow, right above the... Right in the pretty much the middle of the screen. Middle upper left. So, I would say you go back to this volcano and go to footage after this the date and time that I got here, maybe half an hour or something, I'd say there's going to be something going on. We got lucky that one day that we seen some uh, 